Happy Friday, guys. Happy Friday. Um, it's the end of the week. You know, uh, they say, they say, those people, um, that gyms will have the green light go probably in a week. Uh, make sure you go to our website, go to the about, to the blog. If you haven't already, read through our phase one reopening, what that may look like. I don't know how long that phase one is going to last. Um, as of right now, I'm looking at that phase one starting June 1st um, with some appointment stuff the week before when we do open. So, and we're taking that slow most uh, because it's the right thing to do, right? So, um, see what people's comfort level is, see where people's headspace are. I will tell you guys right now that um, it will be required to do some type of consultation and assessment before you come back into class. I need to know what you've been doing, um, how your body's feeling, where you, like where we are in a mental state and things like that. So that's what that priorities che priority sh checklist sheet is for. Uh, you know, we got 65 emails sent out and I have five priority check, check uh, sheets. So let's get on that. I'm gonna beat it like a drum over the next three, five, seven days, all right? Um, if you don't know how, what to fill it out, you need to contact me and set up a time to where we can sit and talk on the phone and I can help you out, all right? So that's the first part. Um, because when we come back, we're not gonna come back and be like, hey, gym's open. I haven't been doing anything for nine weeks. Let me hit this thing so hard that I can't walk for a week. That's not gonna happen, all right? So just keep that in mind. All right, we're gonna take our time. We're gonna work people back in that haven't been um, working out, lifting weights, um, or moving through squat type movements. If you've been walking, awesome. Then you probably have built up some aerobic um, capacity and your legs have probably gotten a little stronger for walking, but we need to move, right? So speaking of moving, today we have strength work, and our strength work today is single leg deadlifts. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side, 30 seconds of rest, and then 30 seconds of lawnmower rows on one side, 30 seconds of lawnmower rows on the other side, 90 seconds of rest, and go through that three times, all right? So let's look at what those single leg deadlifts will look like with a slam ball first, all right? So we're gonna be here, pull those shoulders back and down, slight bend in this knee here, and we're going to come down nice and slow, all right? Finding our balance here, then standing and squeezing our butt. Right, keeping that back as flat as possible. The whole time, we're pulling this belly button in and keeping that core tight. That way, if our back does bend, our core is engaged and it protects that back. All right? So, that's our slam ball. If you have a light dumbbell or torpedo weight, this is what that's going to look like. If you're standing on your left foot, you're going to have the weight in your right hand. So, basically, you're going to replace your foot with this weight, all right? So we're going to lift that leg up, come down, and then come back up. And you're only going down as far as you can keep core engagement, proper technique, without those shoulders rolling forward. So if we get to about right here, and we start to reach forward, not good form, all right? That means we're losing core engagement. We wanna keep those shoulders back and down, drive the hips back, keep that back as flat as possible, and then stand back up, okay? If you have a heavier torpedo weight, you're gonna hold it just like that slam ball right here. Drive the hips back, coming down over that front leg, and then standing and squeezing your butt, okay? If you have problems keeping that balance, I want you to focus on balancing, okay? That might look like this, which is what we do on our warm up. It's perfectly fine. Okay, that's gonna create that balance. It may look like this. It may look like this. Balancing on one foot for 30 seconds. Or lifting that foot up, bring it to the front, bring it to the back, all right? Bring it to the front, bring it to the back, and really get used to standing on that foot while you're going through some type of movement. And then when that gets easy, then we can go out to the side, to the front and then to the back, 
All right, that way we're building up to being able to keep our balance when we do this, okay? So keep that in mind when you go through. If you're trying to do your deadlifts and you're like this, put that weight aside. Don't blow out your knee, don't hurt yourself. Work on the balance first. If you're here and you're still kind of like this here, don't even bother bending over at the hip right now. Just get that balance forward, back, to the side, and get used to balancing that way, okay? On our lawnmower rows, right? Our lawnmower rows, we're gonna be right here. Again, if you have a lighter weight, right? You're going to pull and hold, and then one, two, three, down. If you have a heavier weight, I want you to pull and then slowly lower it back down, okay? But the difference is, is that our regular single arm rows are usually right here, where we get lat engagement. We wanna get lat and then get that core and that twist through the obliques and the transverse, okay? What if you only have a slam ball? Great question, All right? What I want you to do is I want you to get into plank and we're going to rotate and squeeze our shoulder blades together, all right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see my shoulder blades come together. So we're gonna be in a plank position and we're going to turn and squeeze and set it back down and squeeze, keep that core nice and tight. Turn, pull the shoulder blades together and set it back down, all right? You're pressing into this arm, that shoulder's back, this is tight. We come back and when we turn, we're squeezing those shoulder blades together. It's very similar to the resistant row. It's just more of an isometric hold at the top and controlling your body, all right? So you can still do that pull, um, that upper body pull rot and rotation without any weight. So in no excuse, you don't, have, you don't need weight on this, all right? So again, 30 seconds of deadlifts on one side, 30 seconds on the other side, 30 seconds of rest, 30 seconds of row on one side, or um, scapular retraction with rotation, and then 30 seconds on the other side, 90 seconds of rest, three sets, all right? On our conditioning part, we have sprint one and sprint two. Remember, sprint is the intention. You wanna to try to get the same spot or same type of reps every round, okay? So we have sprinter starts and stops, all right? So we're going to stand like this, right? And we're going to sprint in place, high knee sprint in place five times and then pause and then start it back up. So it's gonna be, we're gonna be here, go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five for 30 seconds, okay? Feet as fast as possible, high, high, uh, knees as high as possible. Then you're gonna go right into 30 seconds of skaters. Go from one side, right hand to the left foot, left hand to the right foot. If you're here where you're just taking steps, all right, that's fine. Try to keep that foot, just like that single leg deadlift, we wanna work on balance. Try to do this, right, as opposed to setting our foot down on the back, okay? That's fine if you don't have, if you're not comfortable on that lateral movement or your balance is off, all right? If your balance is off, you wanna put that kickstand down and be like this. All right? If not, you want to get a little hop in there to really challenge the hips, okay, and glutes. So 30 seconds of sprinter stops and starts, 30 seconds of skaters, then uh, one minute of sumo down with high pulls. So feet are wide, shoulders back and down, slight bend in the knees, drive the hips back into a deadlift, and pull at the top, okay? So if we're here, we soften those knees, drive our hips back. Notice I'm not squatting here, right? My chest is over the weight. I come up, squeeze my butt, and pull. So we're driving our feet into the floor about the time right here when we squeeze our butt. That is your cue to pull that weight up and drive those elbows up, okay? So here and here for one minute. Well, then we have a one minute rest, and we'll go through that four times. Then we're gonna go to sprint two, which is one minute of jump rope, one minute of thrusters or squat and press, okay? So let's go to the jump rope first. Um, I whipped myself like crazy today. So 
Am I going to embarrass myself by demoing? Probably. So single unders, right? Or boxer skip, or high knees, or double unders. Okay? That's if you have a jump rope. All right? If you don't have a jump rope, feet are wide, dot, like a dot drill, hourglasses, X hops, staying up on the balls of those feet, going back and forth for one minute. All right? You can also do broad jumps, turn around, jump back. You can also simulate a jump rope. But if you do it, challenge yourself. Double tap every time you jump. So come here and start jumping. All right, and that will challenge you as far as your rhythm goes. All right, my heart rate's already up. All right, so one minute of jump rope, then one minute of thrusters. Again, if you have a slam ball, squat and press or squat throws, okay? If you have a lighter weight that's not gonna be challenging for you, do 30 seconds on one side, and then 30 seconds on the other side, all right? If you have a heavier weight, you'll squat, and then press, and then squat, and then press, okay? And you got one minute of thrusters, one minute of rest, four times through. All right, so let's go over that one more time. Strength work, single leg deadlifts, 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other, 30 seconds of rest. Lawn mower row, 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side, 90 second rest, three times through. Sprint one, sprinter start and stops, 30 seconds. Skaters, 30 seconds, sumo de la tie poles, one minute. One minute rest, four times through. Sprint two, jump rope one minute, or whatever your modification is. Thrusters for one minute, one minute rest, four times through. Jamie, what happens if I don't have a weight to do the, I can't do this workout because I don't have a weight. Wrong, all right? So, without weight, get into that sumo deadlift position. I still want you to get into your sumo deadlift, drive those hips back, reach towards the ground, and then when you come up, I want you to pop at the top. All right, still activating those hamstrings, all right, and still getting some type of reach at the top. You could also come here and then pull, here and pull, here and pull, and pull those shoulder blades together. All right, so you have two good options for that work. Is it gonna get your heart rate as high as if you have a weight? No. Are you still gonna get a good workout in? Yes. All right. On the second part, Jamie, what if I don't have a weight? Ah, oh, shucks, I don't have to do thrusters. That's fine. Then you can do tuck jumps. If that's too hard for you, you can do ground to jump and reach. So you can do a squat into a tuck jump, right? Or you can do ground to jump and reach, similar to what that sumo deadlift is. All right? Or you can do air squats. All right? You can just do body weight, no resistance, air squats for the minute. Again, is your heart rate going to get up the way it would with the weight? Probably not, especially if you're focusing on your form, but you're still going to get a good workout out of it. All right? So hit this workout. You know, tag us on Instagram and Facebook. Share your results, share your calorie burn. Get on the website, look at that reopening on our blog. And then uh, any questions or concerns, reach out to me, all right? You guys have an awesome Friday. Hopefully I'll see you on a Zoom call tonight. One last thing, Tuesday night, I don't know what day that is, but Tuesday night, upcoming Tuesday night, we have Total Nutrition Technologies. We have Courtney from there. They're, she's gonna be doing a live presentation webinar for us. Um, like eating, like stress eating, how to overcome it and things like that. She's a registered dietitian. Um, so I want you to hear it from another source. Guys, get on there. It's very important that we start getting these good habits in, all right? 
Um, if you haven't already, take care of yourself, all right? And um, that'll be at 5.30, and then uh, we probably won't have a Zoom class on Wednesday night, all right? But Tuesday night, 5.30, with Total Nutrition Technologies, Courtney, uh, about eating and answering any questions that you guys may have that haven't been answered so far through me. All right, have a great Friday, guys. Have an awesome weekend, and um, get moving.